Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In this short video, we're going to take a look at the new searching functionality in Batch. This will certainly help to locate particular types of nodes, as well as giving you a different means of navigating very large flow graphs. So here I am in Batch with a zoomed out view of my flow graph. You could also be in Batch FX, and the functionality would be the same. So let's say for argument's sake, we are working at the end of the flow graph. I'll just zoom into this region. Now as part of my composite, I realize that I need to track down a GMask node earlier in the flow graph. Now there are lots of existing options you can choose from. You can blindly pan the schematic view with the spacebar. Or you could press CTRL-ALT-N to bring up the navigator. This allows you to have a more global view of the flow graph. But the point is that you're still having to look out for any GMask nodes. So in Flame Premium 2016, if you want to search for a particular type of node, just locate the corresponding node in the node bin. In this case, I want to find the GMask nodes. Hover the cursor over the GMask node and press Meta F. Immediately the schematic view frames all the GMask nodes in the flow graph. You will also see how all the other nodes grey out to further emphasise the searched nodes. So this is rarely handy. At this point, you have two ways to go through your nodes. You can either select them manually one at a time, or you can press the Tab hotkey to navigate each GMask node. The beauty of using the Tab hotkey is that not only does it select the various node, but it also frames the selected node in the schematic view. Please note that the Tab cycles the selected nodes forward. If you press SHIFT TAB, this will cycle the selected nodes backward. So you can use the Batch Node Bin to help search for nodes in the flow graph. But another interesting scenario is when the type of node you want is already visible in the schematic. For instance, we can see that there are colour correction nodes in the schematic view. To find all the colour correction nodes in the flow graph, hover over the node and press Meta F. The schematic view zooms out and frames all the colour correction nodes. And by pressing TAB or SHIFT TAB, you can cycle between all the colour correction nodes in Batch. One final tip I'd like to leave you with is that the node cycling can be based on a manual selection rather than a node search. For example, ensure that nothing is selected in the schematic by holding ALT and clicking on a grey area. Now draw a box selection around a series of nodes. When you press TAB or SHIFT TAB, Flame will cycle through your node selection. What is rarely useful to know is that if you call up the node menus and cycle the nodes, the node menus will automatically switch to whatever node is selected in the cycle. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.